Hello fellow collectors and welcome to Long's Toys. Today we are taking a look at the DX Holy Wing buy stamp from Kamen Rider Revice. This of course is used by Kamen Rider Live to become Kamen Rider Holy Live. And you can see he is featured very prominently here on the front of the box. I really like this suit design. I didn't really care for Live all that much. I kind of thought Evil was the cooler design. But I really, really like Holy Live. I think he looks really, really cool. Great color scheme. Love the giant angel wings. Very, very cool. Over here on this side of the box, you can see there's the QR code for the directions. And then you have the Vi stamp itself. Over here on this side, really nice picture of Kamen Rider Holy Live. Again, really liking that suit. Uh, not too much going on on the bottom. Uh, but watch batteries are included, which is always appreciated. And then just kind of a similar picture up top that's on the front of the box. And then spinning it around to the back, it just shows you, of course, how to use it with the two-side driver. And, of course, it's also compatible with the Revice driver. We'll take a look at all of that. So, pretty cool box. Let's go ahead, let's get it out of there, and we'll take a closer look. So, here is the Holy Wing Vi stamp out of the packaging. I like this one. I really like the color scheme. I think it's a good color scheme. Also, it matches the suit, and, of course, it's meant to kind of match with the two-side driver. We'll see that in a little bit. But overall, he did a really nice job with this one. You got this giant wing here on the front. You got a button up here. Then you have this piece here that's kind of meant to resemble the hammer of a gun. And you can see that uh, more prevalent when we put it in the two-side driver in a little bit. Uh, here we have the battery compartment. That's where you pull the little tab out. If you ever have to replace the batteries, they go right there. You have your speakers, QR code, your little infrared sensor. And then, of course, on the bottom here, you have the metallic plate for the stamp. Hit the button on top. Says its name as you'd expect. If we hit this part, it's going to make the wing flip down. Doesn't really do much else. And you can kind of see how this is kind of all meant to resemble like the back of a gun because you have the hammer here, you have the chamber here. Like for a revolver, you can see that's kind of molded in, so that's kind of neat. And then you have this really nice gold metallic paint, which is, again, going to fit with the two-side driver, and we'll see that in a little bit. But yeah, overall, I really like the design of this one. I like the sound so far. I love the color scheme. Let's go ahead and bring in the two-side driver. All right, so we're going to start in gun mode, because, of course, this is used by Live and not Evil. So I'm going to go ahead and take it off of the base here. So I think this is kind of cool. The way they integrated this, like I said, you have that nice uh, little bit of metallic gold paint here because it kind of lines up with the part that's already on the two-side driver. And I've always kind of thought this didn't really look much like a gun, but now that you kind of have the chamber here and you have the hammer, it kind of lends to the overall gun aesthetic, which I just think works a lot better than when it's not in there. Uh, when you just have a vice stamp in there, it really doesn't look like a gun to me very much at all. But we can go ahead and do some power-ups here, so we put this back up. And of course, just like any other vice stamp, you can just hit the button on the top. So pretty cool. Really nice standby music. Really like the transformation there. And I really like how this just kind of seamlessly fits. The shade of green is not exactly the same as the two-side driver, but it's pretty close. And I think overall it looks pretty good. And even though Evil doesn't use it in the show, we'll try it that way too. It's 
So since all the sounds come from the Vi stamp itself, there's no difference in the transformation there. I'm assuming because they didn't want it to do the live sounds that the driver usually makes, they kind of had a way to turn that off so that everything just comes from the Vi stamp itself. Next up, we'll try it with the Revice driver. So pretty much the exact same transformation jingle. So there's no remix sound or anything because that doesn't make sense. Really, it's just a way for you to get all the same sounds you would with a two-side driver just while using it with the Revice driver, but there's nothing really new. Next up, we'll try it with the Libera driver. So there it just says its name, just like any other Vi stamp. It doesn't play the normal jingle like it did everywhere else. That doesn't really do anything. So that doesn't do anything. And you don't get any Lovkov sounds either. Next up, the Demon's Driver. So you kind of just get that same multicolored circle that it does for all the power-up items. And then last up, we'll try it with the Orem Buster 50. So I like this one a lot. I think Live was definitely in need of a power-up, and I think they did a pretty good job with this one. Just judging the Vi stamp on its own, I think it's a lot of fun. I like the design. I like the color scheme. Nice paint applications. Sound effects and everything are really fun. 
And while it does have functionality with all the roleplay toys, it's obviously meant for the two-side driver. And I think they did a really good job of kind of having it integrate into the two-side driver. Now, granted, the shades of green are not exactly the same. I think the two-side driver is probably a little bit darker shade of green. But I always kind of didn't think the gun mode looked that great. Um, but I think they did a good job with this because when you have that wing flip down and it's plugged into the two-side driver, it really adds to the aesthetic and kind of pulls the gun mode all together. It has that hammer on the back, it has the like chamber part, and it has that little bit of gold paint that kind of lines up with the gold paint on the two-side driver and kind of completes the gun aesthetic. And I kind of actually buy it as a gun now, whereas before I always thought the sword mode looked better and the gun mode was a little lacking just because kind of the barrel just kind of comes to it, you know, the hard rectangle on the end and just doesn't really look much like a gun to me. But they did a good job with this. Like I said, it all fits together well and it actually looks pretty good. So I like this one a lot. Plus, I really like the Holy Live suit. I think that looks really cool. Uh, definitely looking forward to seeing that more on the show. The angel wings, I just always think, look really, really cool. Uh, but yeah, I definitely recommend picking this one up. I know I'm a little late to the party on this. I had it in my HLJ private warehouse for some time, but I was finally able to get a hold of it. And I'm glad I did, because I really like it a lot. So definitely recommend adding this one to the collection. But let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And as always, thanks so much for watching.